Hello again, my friends. Shadow Keep's second weekly reset is here. Wow. Yeah, I know. Time flies when you're on the grind. And yo, is there a lot to talk about this week? So let me break down exactly what you can expect from this here video. First up, shoddy working conditions, blatant disregard for safety, and questionable employee behavior continues to plague Ikora's Tower Portal project. Next up, the third installment of Eris Morn's questline. Sadly, no RKO acts to the chest this time. Instead, we get a melancholy aside from Eris Morn over her lost fire team member Tolan the Shattered. I'm also going to be examining the new Iron Banner quest. Spoiler alert, one of the quest steps is currently broken. I'm going to tell you how to fix it. And I'm going to open all four of my Iron Banner bounties for that sweet pinnacle loot. And here's another spoiler alert, Iron Banner has no new Iron Banner weapons. Next up, the new Legend Nightmare Hunts. Are they worth it? Is the loot any good? We're gonna find out. And finally, the location of this week's Wandering Nightmare and how you can cheese it if you're a lower power solo player. And of course, I'm gonna give you a little bonus. I'm gonna unbox this mystery package that arrived for me and get you up to speed with all the latest Destiny news. So then, you know the drill, let's effing well do this. Okay then, so first up, we have the continuation of this season's plot. Ikora is building a portal to the Black Garden in order to locate and destroy the Undying Mind, a massive Vex Hydra. Well, looky here, construction is well underway. We can now clearly see the skeletal frame of the portal. Personally, I'm more concerned with the shoddy working conditions. Ikora, sort it out, mate. Remember last week when I lambasted this engineer for not covering her eyes while soldering sparks flew in her face? Well, she's been replaced by this guy who said F it all together with the goggles. He's practically showering in red hot sparks in his face up his jacksy. This dude is leaning right into his third degree burns. And just what exactly is this guy doing? I'll tell you what he's doing. He's checking out the booty. Let's look at him from another angle. And here he is. Booty. Told you. Booty watching. The portal ain't never gonna get finished if man peeping on batty, you get me fam? Next up, the third installment of Eris Maul's quest that gives us a little more insight into Tolan the Shattered. Now, the first step of the quest involves locating a Trove Guardian and looting its secret chest. You'll find the Trove Guardian on this part of the map, check it out. You have wandered far from one enemy's dreamland. Now the second part of the quest involves killing 35 enemies with a Hive Relic Sword. And yes, you can fire up Escalation Protocol on Mars for some very easy sword kills, check it out. And once the quest is completed, we're treated to an in-game cutscene in which we gain a rare glimpse of Eris Maul's softer side as she speaks of a fallen fire team member, Tolan the Shattered. I should not miss Tolan. His ruthless pursuit of knowledge led to his downfall. He is not even gone. His spirit lingers, buoyed by the ascendant plane, and yet... A fire team's bonds are not so easily undone. Next up, the first Iron Banner of Season 8, which introduces a new five-step questline. Now, you'll need to complete all five steps before you're allowed to turn in your Iron Banner tokens. And here's another thing, all Iron Banner rewards will drop as weapons until you complete this quest. Now, it's worth noting that Step 5, the last step, is currently broken. It shows that you need to get 10 grenade launcher kills. Well, grenade launcher kills will not count. You'll need to get 10 submachine gun kills instead if you want to complete this quest step. Here's what Bungie had to say about this. We're investigating an issue where the 
Iron Banner scale the Ross Quest Step Conviction says to land 10 super final blows to earn progress, but also shows a grenade launcher icon. This step is actually progressed by earning 10 final blows with submachine guns. So yeah, it's all a little bit confusing, but here's the takeaway. For step 5, the last step of the quest, ignore the grenade launcher kills and get 10 submachine gun kills instead. And here's another little bit of Destiny news from Bungie. Following today's Destiny 2 hotfix, we have re-enabled the activation of rally banners and the tire game in the Sanctuary vendor space on the moon. So yeah, go forth and throw tires into craters, you weirdos. Right then, so I've completed Lord Saladin's Iron Banner quest, which means I can now turn in my Iron Banner tokens. Now, like I mentioned before, there are no new Iron Banner weapons, which is pretty disappointing considering that this is a major new expansion, but oh well, I'm still going to throw Lord Saladin a few Iron Banner tokens and see what he gives me. So let's actually do this. Uh, let's uh, go through these. This should be pretty quick. I don't have that many Iron Banner tokens, to be honest. So let's just pop these, see what kind of things I actually get. Uh, I've got a full set of the Iron Banner gear for my Hunter, which is pretty tasty. Let's just see what this actually dropped at. 929, so it dropped slightly higher. So let me just pop those ones on. Now, let me have a look at the rolls on these weapons. Now, I actually didn't know this, but if you pull the left trigger, you can actually pull up the perks for your weapon, which is really nice, so you don't actually have to inspect them completely. So what's this got? This is um, All Wings Maul, it's got Pulse Monitor, it's got Range Finder, and this is Gunner's Axe, and it's got a Threat Detector and Rampage. Like I said, no new Iron Banner weapons, this is a little bit disappointing, but there you go, let's move on. Right then, I'm now going to open my four Iron Banner bounties, bounties that reward Pinnacle Gear, and I gotta say, I thought they'd be a lot harder to complete, considering they drop rare Pinnacle items, but no, these bounties are actually very doable, no crazy requirements, it's just simply a case of grinding Iron Banner, killing players, capturing zones, getting assists, that's it really. So yeah, definitely worth doing because you get good loot. So here we go. I'm now going to open these. Let's claim my prizes. So we've got a we've got a rocket launcher. What else have we got? We've got a helmet and um, we've also got some gauntlets. And what's the last item I'm going to get? A Booyaxi. We've got talons of the eagle so let's check these out right then let's see what power level these items dropped at i'm actually quite excited to see so this dropped at 935 so that's going to boost me up quite a bit so let me just pop that on already boosted me to 938 that's excellent and i think i got some gauntlets too so they these dropped at 936 again this is going to boost me a little bit so let me pop that on 939 nearly at 940 so yeah definitely worth grinding these out for sure so what did this drop at first of all let's have a little look at the perks Zen Moment, Ambitious Assassin, um, it's a Scout Rifle, and let's see, it's dropped to 3, it's dropped to 937, that's an excellent increase, let me pop that on, 940, so we've, we've gone up quite a bit just from these three items, now let's see what this dropped at, um, it's got Snapshot Sights, Ambitious Assassin, that's pretty rubbish, um, and it dropped at 935, so that's a slight increase, so there we go, we boosted quite a few power levels just from those four items, so in conclusion, it's definitely worth grinding out Iron Banner Pinnacle Bounties, do it. Next up, we have Nightmare Hunt. Now, Bungie dropped a new 950 Legend difficulty Nightmare Hunt, and if I'm completely honest, I'm not really enjoying this activity. It just feels like a lot of work for little reward. Yes, I got some enhanced mods, but I just can't see myself grinding this activity week in, week out. Perhaps the final difficulty for this activity, Master Nightmare Hunt, which goes live on the 22nd of October, will drop tastier rewards. What do you guys think? Are you a fan of Nightmare Hunts, or do you think they're a bit lame? Leave your comments below and let me know. Next up, the location of this week's Wandering Nightmare, and I gotta say, he's very easy to spot this week. Now, these things can be pretty hard for solo players with low power, so I'm gonna show you a cheese. It's basically run away and snipe it from afar. Check it out. This is Fire Team Alpha.
yeah, as you can see, I even got a cheeky little rice cake from this chest. Nice. Okay, now let's open that mystery package. Right then, it's now time to see what's inside this nondescript grey package with another one-handed unboxing. Now, as ever, the controller is there to give you a sense of scale. And as you can see around the side here, I've already made a slit so I can easily access the contents within. There's a little sneak peek. Still no idea what it is. So let's get into this. Let's get rid of these exotic engrams and stuff. Let's get rid of the controller and let's take out whatever is inside so right that that's what is this what is this hello it's a it's a headset hanger okay that definitely gives us a clue to what the rest of this is right okay let's have a little look it's covered in the old ye old bubble wrap so let's just uh squeeze this out let's birth this product shall we in a really awkward one-handed manner it's slowly emerging like the head of a baby from its mother. I'm so sorry, I don't know why I'm comparing this to a birth. That's probably offensive, right. Let's have a little look. It's, right, okay, sweet. It's, I think it's a headset. Oh, there we go, wow. Right, we've got a professional gaming headset. That's amazing. Um, We're gonna get into this, what's this? Right, this is, I, I tell you what we're gonna do, this looks like a bag. Right, we're gonna get rid of all of this excess packaging with the power of editing and have a closer look at this thing. So yeah guys, here it is, those wonderful folk at Sennheiser sent me their professional gaming headset and I gotta say, this is a really high quality product. Now if you were wondering what the headset hanger was all about, well you can actually clamp that onto the side of your desk and you can actually hang your headset from it, which is a really nice touch. So yeah, thank you so much to Sennheiser for sending that over. Now let's have a look, little look at the box here. As you can see, this is the GSP600. Uh, it's compatible with the iMac, PC, PlayStation, and Xbox. Included in the box uh, are the following items that you can see here. Now if we turn this around, we can see what this headset's all about. As you can see, engineered for exceptional audio clarity in games, advanced noise cancelling broadcast quality microphone. So yeah, like I said, this is a really lovely bit of kit let's just pop that on the floor again let's bring the headset back so there you go thank you so much to Sennheiser for sending this over to me um, I'll leave a link to this in the description box below if you're interested to find out more but yeah thank you so much and that my dear friends brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed it why not give it a cheeky thumbs up you guys have been absolutely killing it with the thumbs up the comments the subscriptions recently the channel is blowing up getting so many views per video and that's all because of you thank you so much for feeding YouTube's algorithm for pleasing them for pleasing the youtube gods and making my channel well it's kind of blowing up at the moment that is because of you thank you so much now guys if you want to watch some more content from me click the on-screen image and i promise that we will speak again very soon